Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, once again with the man, the legend as they call him, Hal Bell. How you doing today, Hal? Great, great to self go. I'm doing well. <laughs> All right, Hal, you're at a different restaurant than Alla Familia. Okay. Up in the Allentown section of Pittsburgh. <laughs> who took who's who who brought you to this restaurant tonight? Well, well um, Mr. Uh, Darren Morningstar. Is, is that the guy you used to play a pit? A friend of mine. Okay, let's. Darren, you brought you brought the legend. Absolutely, you tonight? this guy deserves it. All the shit he's been doing this year. Yeah. All right. Get him out. All the familiar. Yeah. Good Italian food. Beautiful waitress. We're having fun. All right. All right yeah, now. It's nice to have dinner with a, a pit superstar. Okay. We're talking about uh, Johnny Manziel. Okay. You're a big Johnny Manziel fan. Yeah. Yes, I okay, am. Okay. Yeah. Tell us why you like Manziel. Well. Well, I think that, that he has a lot of talent. Okay. And, and, and I see flashes of it, and I really feel by his organization, the Cleveland Browns, that he's getting a raw deal. Well, you know, as far as him uh, running around with uh, women and beating it up. Um, um, okay, that's a that's a thing that quarterbacks do. Uh, you know what? It didn't hurt Ken Stabler, and it didn't hurt Joe Nate. Okay, just right, let but, him be him. Right, but let me ask you this, Al. Okay. What makes Johnny Manziel any different than a guy like Tim Couch, okay. a first-round pick, uh, Brady Quinn, okay. a Matt Liner? This guy, this guy's basically were NFL flops. What makes this guy any better? I've seen a lot more production from Manziel. The only problem is he's with the, with the Cleveland Browns. You couldn't have a winning season if it uh, bit them in, in, in the ass. Okay. Uh, either he gets out of that organization or that organization regroups and and starts putting pieces around. So you're basically saying Manziel could be an NFL superstar. I'm not saying superstar. I'm saying saying a, a good quarterback who's quite possible could lead his team to the playoffs. And but unfortunately, the way the Cleveland Browns are going, it may not be in a Cleveland. And and I would rest assured that if he caught it back to Dallas Cowboys, that the record would be a lot better than what it is. I've been they were missing uh, Tony Romo. So, I mean, I, I, well, see, I see talent. There. But there's more hype than production on the field. I mean, the guy's 4-4-40 four, four, speed isn't any good. It's nothing great. Uh, well, he has a very good arm, and I could only speak from experience. He, he I let the Steelers up. Okay, you're, okay. okay, so you're basically a Manziel guy. Yes, yes. I I mean, I think that there's real good talent here. Okay. Unfortunately, I agree. being in Cleveland, it hasn't been put to good good use. Okay, one more thing. Yeah? Darren Morningstar. What do you think about the legend? You said you agree with him. I think he's absolutely right. I think if Johnny Football gets a chance, this guy's going to kick ass in the NFL for not only this year, for years to come. they got to okay. get their shit together and give him the ball and let him play. If he wants right. to hang out and party, let him party. Okay, thank you. Some games. Thank you, Darren. And thank you, Legend. Thank you, Hal. All right.